Hi everyone, welcome to Lepus Compass. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are doing a reading for Capricorn for the first half of June. We're going to pull messages from different uh, decks and see what's happening for you. Capricorn, let's find out what's going on in the first half of June. We have a point of cherry coming out for you. Wow, I'm getting immerse yourself in new passionate endeavor either. New passionate endeavor. Hmm. Let's start two. And Cosmos. Interesting. Let's go ahead and clarify your cards and see what is this all about. Mint to cherry. I'm getting something very creative around you. Something that you're working on that could be a very creative project here. you're working on something that is um, very close to your heart something that is very creative here i feel like it's been a struggle i feel like it's been hard work you know is to bring this to life here i have five of cups you could have gone through a couple of disappointments certain things could have not worked out here but i feel like uh, you're immersing yourself in this project so much that you're manifesting positive changes here. I feel like um, uh, 888 could be a very significant number for you. Also, there is this energy here of um, building connections, networking, um, and some sort of uh, success through that. So for those of you who are working on some sort of passionate project, some uh, the, uh, uh, working on something creative here, I'm getting an energy of communication that is very important to you. Communicate with others, connect with others, build relationships, uh, build relationships through social networks here is going to be very, very beneficial for you. And I feel that eventually you will plant the seeds that will bloom. That's what I'm getting with this energy here. There is a fulfillment here. There is a fulfillment. There is positive results in here, but there is hard work associated with this. It's something that you've been carrying and nourishing for quite a while now. Build connections. There will be helpful people here that will come in, that, are, that will help you fulfill your dreams that is connected with this project. That's what I'm getting. Interesting. You'll know if this is your message, if that's something you're working on. Let's um, find out what this Nasturtium is here for. The star. Nice. I'm getting a strong energy of a dream coming through there with that star. Hmm. I feel like you could have gone through some sort of heartache when it comes to uh, your marriage. There could have been something in your marriage that was uh, painful, the uh, person could have hurt you. But I feel like there is a lot of strengths associated here. And I do feel that there is an energy here of possibly possibility to heal this connection, to transform this connection, to move away from this pain and to move into a beautiful, stable um, life together. You could be connected to a Leo, um, you could be connected to a Taurus here, Aquarius is standing out strongly as well. But I'm getting that there is um, a lot more excitement in this union. I do feel there is an energy here of possibility to, uh, to um, overcome the hurdles that you had here to transform this union and to stay together. I'm getting an energy of staying together, healing whatever issues you had here. The star is healing. Um, I'm getting a lot of energy of healing here. I feel like um, you you know why you're together with this person. It almost feels to me like you're together for a certain purpose. You're meant to be together. And yes, I do see that there was a heartache here. There could have been a heartbreak. Somebody could have done something that almost felt like stabbing in the back. But I do feel there is an energy here of possibly healing this. There is a potential to heal this union. That's what I'm getting here very strongly. You both are very strong and I feel like um, as long as both of you are putting enough effort to heal this union, you'll be able to do so. Okay, let's find out what this cosmos here about. Page of cards. 
I'm getting a secret admirer very strongly. <laughs> Somebody who could be watching you here. Somebody who is definitely staying in the shadow, not revealing themselves here. I'm getting that. Um, yeah, there is an energy of a secret admirer here. Somebody who sees a potential with you, somebody who uh, sees a long-term potential with you. I uh, was four of pentacles, so they're very defensive. This person is not the one to, uh, to jump forward. This person is not the one to even come forward. I feel like they're staying kind of in the shadows, watching you somewhere from... Uh, from a distance here i feel like this person is a lot in their head they overthink in this situation here but they're very much open to have a beautiful relationship with you i'm also getting an energy here of letting go of a karmic past there is this uh, codependency there is somebody who was wearing a mask somebody who was mask look at this the person who was presenting themselves as somebody that they were not i'm seeing you letting go of that you're letting go of that you're opening a new chapter in your love life and i feel like some of you will get to know about the secret admirer in this first half of june but there is a need here of let go of toxicity this moon with all these mushrooms here i'm getting toxic energy from this union here somebody who was uh, giving you um kind of keeping you trapped keeping you trapped in a toxic relationship here could have been a cancer, cancer sun sign. Somebody who was keeping secrets from you, somebody who was kind of almost keeping you on a short leash. <laughs> That's the energy I'm getting. Somebody was keeping you trapped. Not literally, but that's the energy I'm getting there. Okay, let's go ahead and move to the Coffee Cup Oracle cards and see what else needs to come out for you, what else we need to know. It's interesting, usually with the Capricorn, when I see the devil, I see it as your energy because it is your representation in Major Arcana and it's also connected to success. But in that particular message, it did feel like toxic energy, codependent energy from the past almost possibly present for some of you look at that a hidden gem who is a groom <laughs> doesn't have to be gender specific you could be a groom you could be attracting a groom like energy um, I am uh, getting here, finding somebody who is a true gem. I am getting that energy here for you. Um, I do feel that there, there could be a distance between you two. There could be a physical distance between you two. Um, you could be um, you could be meeting and then there seems to be like a break. One person could be leaving. They could be going on a trip. They could be from somewhere else. They could be actually, uh, they could live somewhere else, but... Um, I feel like there is a possibility here to move closer to each other and um, to explore this union here. With Nine of Cups here, you're a little bit um, kind of on defense. <laughs> I feel like you're working on your money right now, you're working in your job, you're very busy in your job, that's what you're focusing on. But I do feel that uh, there is an energy here of things coming to you. I feel like things happening for you. With this world, I do get an energy of a possibility of a new relationship here that will change your world. It's something that is gonna change your daily routine. You're going from a singlehood to being connected to someone who's very, very, very special. But five of cups, I feel like your energy is still thinking about the past. You still think about things that didn't work out. Not that you want the past to come back. I'm not getting that. I'm getting just being sad and just that sadness is connected to your energy here and this is why you're kind of closed-handed here you're not as open as um, one would be to a new romantic connection here but i feel like it's coming to you <laughs> the connection is coming to you the person is coming to you i feel like they're going to drop your defenses here there is this two cups right behind you that you don't see but it's in your energy that's what i'm getting there Let's go ahead and pull some tarot and let's just see what else we have not covered, what else needs to come out for you, what else we need to know. Capricorn, what else is happening? Look at that. Ooh, look at that. The lovers are coming in for you. Passionate connection. 
Sagittarius could be significant. I've seen the Sagittarius there with Wheel of Fortune and you have Temperance here as well. I feel like somebody's coming to you. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at that. Strong energy of completion. Strong energy uh, of completion here. Some of you, you are walking away from some sort of an, a relationship that has ended. There is no comeback there. And some of you are moving towards a relationship that is your happily ever after. You have amazing energy of um, potential for love that is going to last. I feel like you, you, you both want kids. That's something that is significant for you too. I feel like uh, both of you are quite different. There's a lot of difference. This is almost kind of like two opposites coming together and creating that beautiful union that just matches, clicks. And uh, I feel like you're going to get along really well. Sagittarius, again, is coming out so strongly here. You could be connected to a Sagittarius for sure. You're very different with this person. I feel like you're very different, but yet you make sense together. You could find out that they've just gone out through a divorce. This person could have just gone out through a divorce. They could um, have um, kids with their previous partner here. I'm also getting energy of not necessarily being married to that person, but being in a long-term relationship. So you could uh, find out that they just recently moved away from something that uh, wasn't working out for them but i do feel that they've left it behind i don't see any connection energy there um, except for possibly i mean obviously if you have kids with somebody you'll be connected to that person but i'm not getting romantic or emotional connection to their acts i feel like that has ended and they're ready for a new relationship this is what i see that's the energy that is coming through thank you so much for spending your time with me and i hope to talk to you soon Bye for now.